Hello. A pleasant afternoon, Chris. I hope you're all doing well right now. I am Jonathan Tanduago, a full-time barista of Starbucks 113 World Plus Project. And I'm going to take to send to you a virtual coffee tasting of our very own Starbucks Espresso Coffee. The heart of our most popular coffee beverage. is part of our history. It is the same blend we've been serving in our stores since we handcrafted the first Starbucks latte in 1975. This special blend of beans is a dark roast coffee that came from the multi-region of Latin America and Asia Pacific that produces a rich and caramel sweetness of beef. Also, this coffee has a major acidity and full body that undergone to wash processing method. When you say wash method, the beans are soaked and fermented for 36 hours. And with that span of time, it will create an enzyme that will help to crack the mucilage of the bean. So partners, Without further ado, let's start brewing our very own Starbucks Espresso Rose Coffee. In this coffee tasting, I will be using French press brewing method. What I like in this brewing equipment is its ability to highlight the body of the coffee. And it's very easy and accessible to use when brewing a cup of coffee. So I have here also the 30 grams of espresso ground coffee, an 18 ounce of hot filtered water. So I already put here the hot water. The stirrer and the timer. So I will start preheat the French press. I will put some small amount of hot water on the French press. And leave it for a second. Then I will separate the hot water. and put the 30 grams of espresso ground coffee. And then, I will start pouring the 18 ounce of hot filtered water. I will make sure that all the grounds are wet. And start stirring. Then, let's wait for 4 minutes for the brewing time. So when waiting for the brewing time, I just want to share about the brief history of the Starbucks Espresso Coffee. There is a secret message in the paper lock packaging of the Espresso Coffee which means the Emerson Street, which is said to be the place where the conceptualization of the espresso happened. This was also the street 
where the fisherman terminal located, the home of Starbucks Roasted Plant back then. In adding up to our history, Dave Olsen was the coffee guy. He created our express rules back in 1975. But Dave had his first experience with the real espresso back in 1969 on an epic road trip from Montana to Texas. He said he almost blew up his little stove top espresso maker to pull the perfect shot. And once he did, there's no going back. Inspired by the lock of shut of the coffee bars overseas, Dave went to an open coffee allegro in Seattle, where he brewed and sold the finest quality of coffee he could. But it wasn't enough. He needed the ultimate espresso bed, the one that would take him to the day where he first discovered it. Fortunately, that's when the day met the guys. Gordon Goker, Jerry Baldwin, and Sid Seagal, who had recently opened the Starbucks. They shared intense curiosity and passion for coffee possibilities. They also had a roasting. So when they decided he needed his own blend, he knew where to go. Dialing in the favor lap two times with the countless trials required just to get it right. They played with plants, experimented with pros, and finally, they made vision into reality. The soon to be a classic espresso rose was born. So, partners, since the four minutes is done, let's try to taste our very own Starbucks espresso rose coffee. So, I have here the cup. Cheers partners! So, let's try to smell our coffee. So I experienced here a nutty aroma just because of the region of this espresso rose. It's come from the Latin America that is known for a nutty feeling of coffee. So partners, the next thing we will do is to slurp the coffee. So let's try. The louder, the better. So when I first slurp the coffee is it delivers a medium acidity that lingers in the sun of the town, that uh, it tends to salivate. The third thing that we should do is to locate the body. So let's serve again. As I experienced here, when I stirred the coffee, the body is on the middle of the town. It's just like a heavy feeling. I think it's because of the French press that highlight the body of the coffee. And also, this espresso rose is a dark rose coffee that consists a full body of the coffee. So the last step that we should do is to describe the flavor of the coffee. So, let's try this work again. It's very noticeable that this coffee has a caramel-like flavor of the coffee. And also the nutty feeling flavor. I think it's just because of it came from the Latin American region. So it has consists of a nutty flavor of the coffee. So partners, I prepared some uh, food pairing for our espresso rose coffee. So I prepared here a cashew nuts and also a leche plant. So you can try this here at home. So let's try. So the first thing that we should do when we are pairing the food to our coffee is 
to sit. Then hit hard foot. Then sit again. I noticed that the heavy feeling of the coffee is become light. It is not overpowered and it's very compliment when we are pairing the cashew nuts to the coffee. So let's try our next food is the leche flan. Mm. Very complex. Uh, it is very noticeable that uh, the caramelized feeling of the coffee and the leche plant. And it is not overpowered by sweetness when we drink our coffee. And it is very approachable. And we know that uh, it is for the both of this, the cashew nuts and the leche plant is. Uh, very perfect when we are pairing in the Spresso's coffee. So partners, that's all for our virtual coffee tasting. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed it and learn more about the Espresso's coffee. You can try this at home and let's drink coffee together. Stay safe and God bless.